Welcome back to Dragoonies Bites. Today I'm taking you on a flavorful adventure with one of my favorite takeout style dishes. It's sweet and sour chicken. It's crispy, it's juicy, and it's packed with that perfect balance of sweet and tangy. It will have you questioning why I ever ordered takeout in the first place. Trust me, it's easier than you think. We'll start with chicken. You can go with thighs for extra juiciness or breasts if you prefer the white meat. I'm using breasts today as I couldn't get my hands on thighs, sadly. Cut your chicken into bite-sized pieces as they will fry up nice and even. Set the chicken aside and let's prepare the vegetables for later. Peel one large carrot, slice it in half lengthwise and slice it into thin half moons. With this, we can ensure that the carrot will cook through but still retain a bit of bite. Next, we'll need a bell pepper. Here you can choose whichever you prefer. I'll be using the green one. We don't need much of it, so slice only a quarter segment out. Peel it away and carefully with your knife, remove the white stringy bits and seeds. Now slice it into strips. Now take your spring onions and lay them flat next to each other. Start slicing them on an angle. This way we will ensure a different texture and taste. Next, slice up your pineapple into smaller chunks. You can use fresh one or canned one, both are good. Though I would suggest to go for a fresh one because it contains less added sugar. Let's continue with the chicken preparation. Start heating up your oil for frying in a white pot. In the meantime, coat your chicken with two tablespoons of cornstarch. This will help us make the pieces crispier and keep the juices locked inside. Just go in with your hands and coat every piece well. Don't forget to wash your hands after with soapy water so we don't do any cross-contamination in our kitchen. Crack an egg into a bowl and beat it well. Pour it over your starch-coated chicken cubes and mix. To a separate bowl, add in around 2 to 3 tablespoons of plain flour. Place a few of your chicken pieces at a time into the flour and coat them well. Check the temperature of your oil and as soon as it reaches 180 degrees Celsius, Place your first batch of chicken cubes into the oil and fry them off for about 3 minutes. Move them around slightly so they don't stick to each other. After, take them out and place them to a wire rack so the excess oil can drip away. Repeat the process with the rest of the chicken cubes. It's time to prepare the sauce. To a small bowl, add in 8 tablespoons of ketchup, 1 tablespoon of pineapple juice that was left from cutting up pineapple or water, 1 tablespoon of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of rice wine vinegar, 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce, 1 teaspoon of sugar, a quarter of a teaspoon of tomato paste, and then mix everything together into a smooth sauce. Heat up your wok on a high heat and once hot, add in 1 tablespoon of sesame oil. First, add in your onion slices and quickly pan fry them off, a few seconds only. To the wok, add in your sliced carrots and bell pepper. Stir fry them for about 30 seconds to a minute. At this point, I add some shiitake mushrooms, a handful of canned bamboo shoots and a diced pineapple. Mix and stir fry for an additional minute. After, add in your chicken cubes and the sauce we prepared earlier. Lower your temperature to medium high heat. Mix it all together for about a minute and let everything stir fry until nicely coated and glossy. And there it is! Homemade sweet and sour chicken. It's crispy, 
tangy, sweet and totally delicious. Perfect for a weeknight dinner or when you want to impress someone. And better yet, it's wonderful the next day as well. Serve it up with some rice and you've got a meal that's better than any takeout. Give it a try and let me know how it turns out in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss a tasty bite from my kitchen. Until next time, bye bye!